everyone, this is Renee from Meadowlark Mystic, and I thought I would come on quickly and do a share of the um, deck modification I've been doing. I've been sharing some of my pictures on my Instagram, which is Meadowlark Mystic, but I thought it'd be fun to just go through the cards now that the deck is done. So I've been modifying this deck, the Universal Weight um, Tarot deck. It's, it's a nice, I think it's a nice edition of the Rider Waite Smith. It has um, more colors. I like a lot of color, obviously. And so I, I just found that I wasn't using it as much as I wanted to. I really love the um, deck by Carol Hertzer. Um, the way that she has hand painted each card, um, and she has a lot of different versions, is really beautiful. But it's a little bit out of my um, tarot budget. Um, so anyway, so I thought I would just give this uh, project a try, which is going in and coloring this deck with um, these colors. Let me see if I can get them. So I bought a pack of these Sharpies, a pack of 24. What I was looking for specifically with the Sharpies were the lighter colors of pink, purple, and light blue. These colors, and there's also a light orange, which I was looking for specifically, a light pink, and yellow. Yellow's really hard to find. Um, oh gosh. <laughs> Yellow is really hard to find uh, in Sharpie markers. So um, this is the pack that I used. Um, I talked about this a little bit in the last time that I shared this deck, uh, but there are certain colors that you can't get away from. So in this, in this case, this first color or this first fool card, if I wanted the sky to be blue, I, I couldn't get it to be blue because even if I put blue on top of this yellow, it would come out green or teal. So there are definitely certain constraints that I couldn't get around, which um, I learned as I went through the deck. So I'm just going to go through this card by card. I think it turned out really well and I am, I am happy with it. Um, so I'll just, I guess I'll just go this way. So I added a lot of purple to this, um, to this moon card. I'm just going to have to take my glasses off. It's hard for me to see. Um, okay. And then I added a lot of purple to, um, to this Five of Swords. So I'll bring them a little bit closer. I really liked how this nine came out and you could pause it I guess if you want to see so I did have a little bit of a misstep I put dark green on the court of the pentacles on accident instead of the light green that you see there but I decided to keep it um, just because I really liked the way it looked I might go back and change it but I probably won't a lot of blues I really liked how this ten of swords came out I really wanted that sense of new beginnings. My favorite suit would be the pentacles. Um, so easy to put green on top of yellow. Um, here's another one that I really like the way it turned out. I really like how this um, page of pentacles. I made the wands glow in most of the um, wand suit. And of course, I just put a ton of orange. You know, the majors were a lot less powerful, powerfully colored than the others. Um, I didn't want to make them too different, and also I couldn't make them too different. So, hmm. oh, okay. Uh, I just changed the columns a little bit for the majors. You know, I might go back in and make um, the temperance um, robe. Uh, rainbow colored because it's white and it would take that color really well. So as I work with the deck a little bit more, I do find that I'm going back and changing some other you know, other colors. This card was already very green, so I didn't have to actually put that much green in it. This was one of the first cards I did. I liked how the orange clouds turned out. So for the edges of the majors and the edges of the other cards, I use the chisel, um, chisel tip Sharpie. 
I have it in different colors. I got it in a pack, so that's what I used for this. And then for the other ones, you know, I used the different colors for that. So uh, overall, I'm I'm happy. I think it was, um, you know, fun. This was the one card I really wanted the background to be blue. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, but you just can't make yellow blue um, when you're you're covering over existing. So that was a little disappointing, but anyway, that was still fun. I might go back and make uh, oops, make this bottom part blue because it looks a little weird. It's just so white. But for the most part, I'm happy with it, and I just wanted to share. You know, this is something that anyone can do. You just buy some Sharpies and, and get a version. If you were to get kind of a regular version of the Rider Waite, it's even more yellow than this one. So I like how this tower turned out. So I think that that would be, it would make it even more difficult to change the color palette when the color palette is so yellow. Also the cardstock on this is really good and it's, you know, semi matte, kind of semi gloss, which makes it easier. If the cards are very, very glossy, it's going to look a little weird. I like this, how the skin turned out. Yeah, again, I didn't really want that yellow sky, but there was nothing I could do about it. I mean, I could have colored it green, but then that would kind of get confused with the pentacles. Uh, the Page of Cups is one of my most important cards after my um, past life reading I had with Kelly, and I love how this Page of Cups came out. I was really surprised at how well the wheel came out. Um, I put a lot of color in the clouds and it really looks, really looks pretty good. I went back in and made the horse per, uh, pink, which I think is cute. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of mages at the end. I like how this angel came out and I really like the pentacles. I like the little pink flowers. So yeah, this is the universal weight that I put Sharpies over the top of. Um, I really wanted a more elemental feeling deck and I, I think I got one. So um, I hope that if you are interested in doing a custom modification to the Rider Waite Swift Snit deck, maybe this gave you some ideas or encouragement. Um, after I did a card, I would usually do them in groups of four. I would let the cards sit out overnight separated from each other to make sure that they were dry because they do, um, sometimes they are a tiny bit sticky and you don't want them to stick to each other. So um, in order to avoid that, you know, and I did them in, in batches of four, which made the project a lot easier. This hanged man has the most color of all the majors because I wanted that kind of aura. I think it turned out pretty well. And then, oh, you know, I need to go back and make these uh, wands kind of more glowing. I love the purple hermit of the Albano Waite, uh, Rider Waite Smith, so I made my hermit purple. Oh, here the wands are kind of glowing, rainbow. And then the strength card. page and then last but not least the rainbow okay so that was a quick um go through of my modification of the uni universal weight i made it more of an elemental deck and i'm really happy with how it turned out okay talk to you soon bye